Welcome to World Action and React. Thank you, friends, for your suggestion. I am trying to implement your suggestion in my future videos. This is not a YouTube channel for broadcast news. Please feel free to share your views. I will try to reply to your comments. Let's start today's news hour. Two fighters from the Tejas final operational clearance block. SP-22 and SP-23 are likely to take to the skies in the coming days, signaling the resumption of flight activities that were halted for a while. An official from Hindustan Aeronautics Ltd told on Manorama Media that the flight trials of these two fighters will be completed by the end of this month. The low and high-speed taxi trials of both fighters have been completed. The LCA Tejas division of HAL is currently finishing the activities ahead of their first flights. SP-23 is manufactured by HAL's aircraft division. The FOC variants getting ready for delivery, flight are loaded with updated software to meet the operational requirements of Indian Air Force. The production rate has been enhanced at LCA and aircraft divisions. Structural works are in advanced stages, as per official. HAL hopes that by the end of this production year, the fuselages of the remaining FOC fighters will be loaded onto their respective jigs. An IAF official overseeing the Tejas production activities told on Manorama that to avoid further delays, HAL has been told to ensure similar build standards for all FOC variants especially SP-21, SP-22 and SP-23, to start with. The Indian Air Force's all-male Rufn in Ambala is all set to get its first woman fighter, pilot soon. India today has learned that one of the IAFS-10 current active women fighter pilots is undergoing conversion training and will begin active duties flying Rufle jets with the 17 squadron soon. The IAFS first five Rufle fighters were ceremonially inducted into the Golden Arrow Squadron on September 10 in Ambala. Since late August, the jets have flown familiarization sorties over Ladakh. Even landing in Leh on occasion is part of an operational workup ahead of full operational readiness. More Rafales will be arriving in October and December, with all 36 on order to be inducted by late 2021. The trial of the final phase of how that was going on at Pokhran Field Firing Range has been stopped by DRDO after the barrel of one of the guns exploded last week. The companies left with their guns on Saturday. DRDO has formed a board to investigate the explosion of barrel and a high-level inquiry has been ordered. The trial was going on for last 10 days in the presence of DRDO and army experts. The design of this 155mm 52 caliber gun was made by Armament Research or Development Establishment, Pune and manufactured by Tata Power and Bharat Forge. The barrel of a gun during the firing at the trial blasted in which three to four experts suffered minor injuries. In 2017 also barrel of a gun of the same company exploded during trials. That time the reason was problem in ammunition. This gun has power to fire at a distance of 47 kilometers and can fire six rounds in 30 seconds. The 2017 Doklam Prize out between China and India in a part of Bhutan located east of Sikkim appears to have shifted China's strategic objectives, with China more than doubling its total number of air bases, air defense positions and heliports near the Indian border over the past three years. As per NDTV, details of the Chinese expansion have been spelt out in a yet-to-be-released report by Stratfor a leading global geopolitical intelligence platform. The report outlines China's military infrastructure built-up through a detailed analysis of satellite images of military facilities that have a direct bearing on India's security. The timing of the Chinese build-up of military facilities along the border with India just prior to the ongoing Ladakh standoff suggests these border tensions are part of a much larger effort by China to assert control over its border regions. Says Sim Tak, a senior global analyst with Stratfor and the author of the report.
as tensions continue to simmer on the Indian border. A video surfaced on Sunday showing People's Liberation Army soldiers crying as they are allegedly deployed to the border. On Sunday, Pakistani comedian Z Hamid uploaded a video showing several PLA recruits crying on a buses. They are allegedly transferred to Ladakh border to face Indian Army. Hamid then wrote that China's one-child policy is seriously hurting the motivation level of our Chinese brothers. He then added, "We Pakistani sana, stay brave." Although Pakistan is an ally of China, Hamid appeared to be poking fun at the tender green recruits. The footage was originally posted on the WeChat page of Fuyang City Weekly, but it was soon deleted. The original post shows 10 fresh recruits from Fuyang City's Yingzhou district in China's Anhui province. Hope you enjoyed today's news hour specially last news. If you end up liking this video please like and subscribe the channel.